Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a round 1 to 20 guide on the final Reich. So in this tutorial, I will be going over 1, how to get to round 1 to 20 easily. But for a lot of players, that's pretty easy. So I'm also going to be just giving a handful of tips and strategies for those who already know the map pretty well. I made a video like this for Infinite Warfare when it first came out, and now it's the third most popular video on my channel. So hopefully this helps you guys out just as much. So yeah, let's get right into it. Before we load up our game, make sure you load in with a good class. If you have custom classes unlocked, I would recommend using the Camouflage Specialist, the M1911, and put on the mod Armor Up. Armor Up allows you to spawn in with Jug or Armor in this map. If you don't have custom classes unlocked, just use the medic kit, which is just fine, and it's for free. So when you spawn in your game, you're going to want to shoot the zombies three times each, and then hit them with a the shovel to maximize points. It doesn't matter if you end the round, because we're going to have to end it anyways. Once you have enough points, open out the spawn room door. Now we're going to turn on the main power for the map. Around this area, there will be three gas valves. We need to turn them on to turn power on. When you open up in the village square, there will be one directly to the right of the power generator. Hold square until it turns green. There will be another one to the left of the well. Repeat this process until it turns green again. If you haven't ended the round already, make sure to do so because we need to save up 1000 points for our last valve. Once you have 1k points, go back and near the outside of the spawn, you can buy the door. This will lead you to your last power valve. Turn it on and head back into the village square. Activate the turret and a very small fire will come out of the ground. It will spawn some pests, so just melee them and they won't do much help. If you want, you can use your specialist, but it doesn't really matter. After that, jump down in the hole and follow the path until you see the generator. Activate it, and now you have the main power for the map. That's right, the main power. There's more. Right now, save up some points and open this bunker door. Follow the path and ta-da, you're in the command room. Before we do anything, go by this weird looking thing and crank up the wheel until this thing opens. On each side of the room, there will be two doors. One is a lab and one is a morgue. Once again, save up some points and open these two doors. Each is 1,500 points. In the first door to the left, to follow the path until you see stairs, go up them and to the right you will see the power knob. Activate it. On the other side of the room, there is another one. Go in and turn on the second knob. Behind the command room again, there will be a third room that you can open. Once you unlocked it, go down the mine and kill the bomber zombies. Just make sure you be careful. Around now, I highly recommend you buy the Type 100 for 750 points back at the village square. So for this part, you will need to be down in the Emperor's room. When you're ready, activate the hilt and a red circle will spawn. Kill some zombies in the circle and when it's done, the room will flash red. If you go up in the command room, you will notice that the room is all dark. Go up to the top and activate the button. This will be the start of escorting the device. To move it, kill zombies in the red circle. As you get more kills, it will start to move. Eventually, it will reach the generator. Fill it up until the generator activates. It will spawn a big boy zombie, but don't worry. Just don't shoot him or he will charge at you. After the generator is done, you can pick up the first out of two parts for the Tesla gun. Pick it up and go back to the command room and kill the big boy. Do the same thing with the second part. This time it will go into the morgue. After you get the second part from the generator, run back upstairs as fast as you can and place the parts. Do it fast because the entire room will be in fire and a giant flamethrower zombie will spawn. Go into the village square and train him around the path that I take and spray at him. After a while, he will eventually die, and you can pick up the Tesla gun part back where uh, you place the parts. So that's how you get the wonder weapon in the map. So the next thing up is Pack-a-Punch. This is fairly simple, so first you're going to want to go down the well and open this door. This is where the Pack-a-Punch machine will be. 
To start off, look for your button that's flashing green and red inside of the room and activate it. That will be the first part to lifting the cage up. There are now three tunnels that you can go in. There is one in the command room, one in the lab, and one behind the tower. Once you write them all back to the pack a bunch room, activate the button right outside of it. After you do all three of these, the cage will go up and pack a bunch will be open. Keep in mind, usually after one of the three tunnels you ride, the room will turn red and spawn a wave of pests. Just kill them off and don't let the lights scare you, they're pretty easy. A few things before we continue, make sure you've purchased Quick Revive around now, and also make sure you are consistently getting armor, but only when you need it because the price gets higher every time you buy it, so it makes it harder for the later rounds. So around now, the Type 100 will start to get useless, so we need some better weapons. The guns you're going to be rocking for the rest of this game are the Tommy Gun and the Bar, which are both wall buys. You can get both of these if you have the mod Pack Mule on, which allows you to hold three weapons, including the Wonder Weapon. If not, get the Tommy Gun. I recommend it. The Tommy Gun is outside of the village square and the Bar is in the morgue. If you want, you can get the Jack in a Box from the Mystery Box, but they aren't really needed. They act like the monkey bombs from the Treyarch games. So assuming you have Quick Revive, these are going to be the perks you want to buy. After Quick Revive, get Stamina Up, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. Stamina Up is in the well, Speed Cola is in the lab, and Bang Bangs is at the pub. So now that you have your weapons, it's fine if you pack a punch one weapon before round 10, but I do not recommend packing both before round 10, because when you run out of ammo, it'll cost like 4k points, which is a lot to be wasting on the low rounds. After round 12 though, I would say it's fine to be pack a punching both of your guns. So now that we're pretty much all set up for the map, let's get into the strategies and tips for the map. So I recommend you start the strat at round 15, because that's when all the zombies start to run. In this gameplay, I got the flamethrower zombie, so that was perfect. When you start a new round, hoard up the zombies at the village square until you have a good amount. Then start training them. Before you do the strat, you're going to want all the doors open in the map. There's not really a specific path, but I do recommend you train the zombies around the map. You must start at the village square, then go into the command room, go into the morgue, and come back to the village square. That's the route I usually take because you will be able to kill them all with the traps and will also be able to pass by the wall weapons you have uh, so you can buy some ammo. I usually often try to go down to the Pack-a-Punch room because it's a good hoarding spot just if you want to get the zombies all together while you're training and yeah. So after you do that you can also go upstairs from the Pack-a-Punch room if you open that door and then you will be back to the starter room. If you get the flamethrower zombie in be patient, and if you shoot the tanks off of the back of him, the flamethrower will disable so you don't catch on fire. Don't always do that, but if you really want to, you can. So before we get any further into the video, if you do feel like taking the risk, I would highly recommend you getting the Midnight Tesla upgrade. If you do want to do this, I won't have it on this video because I don't think it's very necessary if you're only going for round 20, but if you do want to go farther, I recommend watching Mr. Waffle Waffle's video on it. He does an amazing job explaining how to do it. You should get a pop-up at the top right of your screen uh, right now if you do want to watch it. So now that we're almost done with the tutorial, the last thing I want to mention is how to kill the big boy zombies. Every round you will get one or two of them. If you can, kill them while training the zombies, but if you want to play it safe, save a zombie at the end of each round and then spray at him with the Tommy gun. If you put all your bullets into him, you will die from one clip. So if you did follow all the tips, requirements, and strats in the tutorial, you should find yourself to at least be on round 20. Hopefully this vid did help all of you guys who are beginners and maybe even some regular players on the final Reich. If you did enjoy the video, or if it helped you in any way, shape, or form, then I would very much appreciate a like and even a sub. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.